Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Deanna. Today for you, I wanted to show you guys my Daiso haul. So Daiso is a Japanese store um, and it's equivalent to a dollar store, kind of like a dollar fifty store. So it's the only dollar store we actually have here in Hawaii. Um, so I went there today look, trying to find some um, items that I could use in my craft stash. So that's what I'm going to show you today what I got. <clears throat> First off, I'm going to start off with these cute little washi tapes that I got. So I just was, I was going for just like a variety of colors. And so I ended up with these eight washi stickers. Um, these are the cutest little things. Now I'm going to take one one of them out of its box or its um, wrapper. So these are um, these are sticky notes. And I just love the way the Japanese do things and the way they package their items. And sometimes um, English doesn't translate or the words don't really make sense, but it, that's what makes it cute. So this one says fresh milk and it says, it will always be happy if you keep on smiling and you open it up. There's a little cow there saying the same thing. And all these um, sticky notes are like cartons. Okay, so this one says, I don't even see what it says, but one strawberry milk, one's banana, one's melon, and I guess one's regular white milk. And then it also comes with this. And the other one that I got is pretty much the same it has, does have a little bit of a different design in it but basically it's the same thing it's different sticky notes so I bought those cute sticky notes so I can put them in um, the um, happy mail that I send to people or um, in my pocket letters so I went ahead and just grabbed this this is just lined paper pads but I thought I could decorate the outside I thought it was cute it came in a pack of two this now this is a pop-up memo okay this pop-up memo pad i thought was cute i'm not gonna redecorate it or anything but i'm gonna see what i can use it for because if you look closely um see how that is cut out so this is made to be like a little tent pop-up card so maybe i could use that for something maybe i can put that at the top of the page or something i don't know we'll see to maybe get some use out of that and um Alice in Wonderland it's never been my favorite story but I know people go crazy for Alice in Wonderland I found these these are um address labels so I thought that was cute so Daiso has a lot of Disney items in there um the next thing I got were these Mickey boxes so you essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull these out and you'll make a box that looks like this. So it's a narrow box. In the front, see it has this cutout. And let's see, there's three boxes in here. I believe there's three boxes in here, but I could be wrong. Um, oh, there's CD. Okay, so what it is, now I see. This is the CD holder or the what it is, is back here are the CD holders, and then they go into this box. But I don't even have CDs. I wouldn't use it for that, but I'm going to look up online to see what kind of craft I can make with this. Um, I also bought these little lunch boxes. I thought they were cute. This came in a set of three. So again, you see the Mickey Mouse motif because Daiso has a lot of Disney items. I got two packages of envelopes. These envelopes have the windows in them. These, I like them because they're brown and they just look interesting. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna make with that, but I have already started on making a craft using envelopes, just basically repurposing envelopes that you get in the mail, but I went ahead and bought new ones too. Okay. Normally, Daiso has a lot of nice stickers. I couldn't find very many, but I did find these and I thought these were really good for junk journals or even just when you wrap a gift for you. These are super cute. 
I found this paper, reminded me maybe of Christmas. It looks very origami-ish, but I bought two packs just in case. I'm not too sure what I want to use them for, but I just got them. Now I got more sticky notes. I got this cute little penguin, and he's got some happy mail that he's holding. And then I got, so sweet, a kitten with a flower in her hair in a teapot also sticky notes and then i think this one is the best the little um i was gonna say porcupine it's not a porcupine i i said it's the best and i can't even remember what it is but i'm pretty sure every whoever's watching this is yelling out the name of this hedgehog oh my gosh hedgehog okay oh here's another sticky note this one is a rabbit i just got these for um happy mail and then I was able to find these two packs of paper. They have 20 sheets in them. This one kind of has a food motif. And this one is just kind of texture, you know, box, wooden blocks, brick, uh, wood type looking paper. It's this origami paper. Normally they have a lot of origami paper. I didn't see any today. Okay, now I also got three um, letter sets. So right here is the paper, right here is the envelope. This is Winnie the Pooh. You can see all his friends there. And you turn it around, here's your writing paper. So not too sure what I'm gonna use this for, but I know I will have a use. Mickey and Friends is also represented. And so this one has Daisy, Donald, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. And they are also down here on the back side of the paper. And then this one is like a floral Mickey. Um, yeah, floral Mickey and the back. Then what I really, 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 really love. Well, I'll show you this first. I got a stamp pad. They didn't have much to choose them. They had um, black or red. I just got the black. How about these? So these are used in a lot of Japanese bentos as like a garnish, you know, instead of putting uh, parsley, they put something like this. But I thought maybe I could use this paper, you know, peel off, it's just a thin piece of paper when you peel it off. Um, I don't know, I thought I could use it in a craft, we'll see. And then, but the best thing I bought was, I actually bought four of these books, but one's a duplicate, so I bought three books. Okay, these are adult coloring books. But what I love about these books is there's so many different pictures of flowers. And as you can see, here's the flower. I can cut that out if I want to and use it for uh, ephemera, or I can cut this out and use it for ephemera, or I can just practice coloring with this, you know? I mean, there's just so many uses for these beautiful pictures. So, um, you know, just have all these pretty pictures in here. So this one is flowers. Um, I got two of those by mistake. And then this one is landscapes. That was pretty cool. Different landscapes. So, you know, I can practice my coloring. I can practice using my pens or my pencils or my crayons, or I can leave it blank, you know, for different projects. So, I mean, I can't even go through all of these for a dollar and 50 cents. What a bargain. And then I got this one. I'm really not trying to show my face. I'm just trying to make sure that uh, everything is in the... You know, gosh, so nice. Everything's in the frame. Anyway, I believe that was it. I did get some things yesterday at Michael's. No, not Michael's, Ross's. I didn't do a video about that, but I'll just show you the few things that I got at Ross's. I got these David Tutera <laughs> um, scissors. Aren't they pretty? I'm going to start on this project sometime, maybe today or tonight. Get this done before the 4th of July. I got this and I got some ribbon from Ross's for 4th of July and I got this. 
So I gotta see what I can do with this land that I love. I consulted a friend and she said, just go ahead and paint it the way it was meant to be painted, you know? And she also said I could add in some cutouts or decoupage, you know? Um, she did this thing on her channel where she decoupaged um, napkins, paper napkins onto his three different projects. It was so beautiful. But I don't have any kind of napkins that are um, 4th of July-ish. So I think I might just paint this anyway. That's my video. I don't want it to get too long. Hope everyone is having a great day. And just don't forget to like and comment. Thank you. Bye.